guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead, and today Sarah and I are going to be making up a cooking with Mama and Sarah video. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but um, instead of starting at supper time, we're actually starting this video at lunchtime because we've just boiled up uh, two chickens and we're prepping them at lunchtime so that we can do what we're going to do at supper time. We're going to make chicken stir fry for supper tonight and take you guys along with us. So here we go. Okay, so everybody's thinking, that's not Sarah. <laughs> that's Andrew. Because this is lunchtime and Andrew is the lunchtime helper. So those two chickens that we had just boiled up, we boiled them up in the big stock pot here and pulled them out into another container. Andrew is picking the meat off the bones. He is putting the meat right here into this bowl here. And we're going to use uh, part of this meat um, in salads for lunchtime today. But the remainder is going in our chicken stir fry this evening. So that's why I'm showing you this now. The bones he is setting aside in that Ziploc baggie there. And that will go in the freezer for me to make bone broth with later. And then the other things, the little, the veins, the gristly things, the fat he's putting in, let me spin around you here, Andrew, in this little uh, dish here. This is our chicken bucket. So there are eggshells down there in the bottom, and then the little pieces that will be given to our hens. So that's how they'll be used up. The uh, water here left over from boiling the chicken, we're saving that as well, and we will use this this, this evening to boil up the rice for our chicken stir fry. So uh, Sarah and I will see you back this evening whenever we're cooking up supper. All right, time to go ahead and get supper ready. Sarah and I are tired <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I'm sunburned and we spent some time outside in the garden today. So we just wanna get the food done. I'm starting off with the rice and I'm gonna have the rice going in the Instant Pot while I'm working then on the chicken stir fry. So this is the rice we use. It's the brown basmati, basmati. I know I'm gonna pronounce it wrong one way or the other. Um, I purchased this from Azure Standard and we get, I think it's a 25 pound bag of it. So this is what we like. Uh, one batch for our family is about three cups. So, I am going to put three cups of the rice in the Instant Pot. And if you remember that chicken water that we had boiled those two chickens in earlier today, I am going to put four cups of this into the Instant Pot. And that's gonna be our liquid for cooking the rice. It took me so long to finally go using the Instant Pot because I was intimidated by it. Checking my seal. Got that closed up. And I'm going to put this on for, I like to do about 25 minutes. Okay, we're gonna let this go and then we're gonna get started on the veggies and stuff for the stir fry. Okay, Sarah is going to get to work uh, slicing up these carrots. So she's taken quite a few carrots here and she has cleaned them up for me, trimmed the tops and the bottoms. Now, one thing we do differently, I know most people peel their carrots. Uh, we don't. We just scrub them, scrub them until they're nice and clean and that's how we use them. So Sarah's slicing these thin because one, we're just going to steam them in the the big pan that I have on the stove over here and I want them to cook up quickly because we're tired and we want to eat quickly and shut it down for the day so while Sarah's working on the carrots I have more kombucha to make I feel like I have kombucha to make every single time we make one of these videos I make a lot of kombucha so I'm going to get to work on that and Sarah's going to finish up the carrots and then we will be back oh no I want to show them something else, Sarah. What? I want to show them all this. Uh -huh. the gar our garden loot that we got. 
Okay, so just in the last couple days, the cucumbers came in today. We actually didn't see these growing. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, we have cucumbers. So yeah, those came in today. We are getting peppers pretty much something every day. Yes. Uh, the zucchini and the crookneck. Now, okay, this one, this is a squash. This is a lemon squash. So, and we can use it just like, just like a crookneck. Yes. And then this. Now, we have a garden tour video that is already posted where we talk about our ticker melons growing in the compost pile. So, we'll put a link in the description box below about our garden tour for the month of June and you can see that these were a surprise. So look how little they are. So they're cute. Okay, now I'm gonna to get to work in kombucha. Sarah's gonna get our carrots finished up. We'll be back. All right, Sarah has all the carrots sliced up for me nice and thin and I'm gonna start off, this is the biggest skillet I've got that has a lid. I have a bigger skillet that's cast iron, but there's no lid, so I can't steam my carrots in it. So I am going to use this. I do like to use toasted sesame oil. I think it gives a really good flavor to the food. And I am going to drizzle maybe two tablespoons-ish, something like that, in there. Turn it on about a medium heat. I'm going to add all these carrots. Now, I will tell you that I do not typically use this many carrots, but I had some that needed to be used up, so we are going heavy on the carrots in the stir fry tonight. And all that means is that it'll stretch a little further as long as I've got room in the skillet, which I may or may not, to fit everything in here. So I'm gonna let the carrots cook for just a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back and add the meat and let that heat together for a little bit. And then I will come back and put my frozen veggies in there, which I am using some frozen broccoli just bought from the store. I do have, these are these Chinese long beans that we grew in our garden last year. We blanched them, we have had them frozen since then. And we will add these as well. They're a nice crispy bean and they work well in the stir fry. And then we're also going to add, these are the slender stems from kale. When we harvest our kale and we take off the green leaves and we dehydrate those or use them fresh, we then save the slender stems and use those in stir fry. Um, whereas some might use pea pods and I like using pea pods in there but these are basically free for us because they come right out of the garden and they taste good and they're crispy. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let these carrots cook for a little bit and I'll come back and we'll start adding other things. Okay, the carrots have been in here for, I guess maybe 10 minutes or so. They are feeling soft, noticeably softer. I don't want them smushy. We don't want smushy carrots. I'm going to add the chicken in here uh, again, this is the meat from the boiled chicken that we did earlier today. I've just gone through and shredded it up, put it into bite-sized pieces. So all that is going in here. Oh, I've got a few more big pieces. I need to squish up some more. So I do want to make sure these bigger pieces are broken up some. And I'm just using my hands because I want to get it done. You guys can use uh, boneless, skinless chicken breasts and things like that too if you prefer. We just have whole fryer birds on hand because that is what we raise. See, nobody wants that big old piece of meat right there. So I am going to break it up and then I'm going to put the lid back on this for maybe five minutes. And again, just let the meat warm up a bit and then we're gonna start adding the veggies in there. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, it hasn't even been five minutes and everything's heating up quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some of the frozen veggies in. The first thing I'm gonna put in are these Chinese long beans. 
and these beans are long. <laughs> when they come out of the garden, they are very long, and they're really cool looking, and they grow very well here. So these have been just chopped up into smaller pieces and blanched and frozen. So we're just going to put these in here to steam and warm up. The kale stems, these are just going to go right on in here. They're going to add some extra crunch to this. I never know how much to put in. I never know. A little more. I just want to have enough room for the broccoli. <laughs> so I'm going to put that in. The color. I'm thinking, Sarah, we might put another bag in there. That does not look like enough yeah. broccoli. Yeah. Okay, we're going to grab another bag, and we're going to load up the mama skillet. I'll be right back. That looks better. Two bags to fill up the big mama skillet. Even with all those carrots in there, two bags. So I'm going to put the lid on, squish it down a little bit because I got it so full, and we're going to let it steam just long enough to where the veggies soften slightly and are cooked through, but we still want them to be crisp. We do not want mushy veggies. So I will check this in a little bit. I'm going to check it at five minutes, and I will play it by ear from there. We'll see what it looks like when it's done. All right, I'm calling it done. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. The broccoli feels softened up to me, and everything I think is cooked through. I am going to carefully, try not to make a mess here, stir everything up. I like it. It looks pretty, doesn't it, Sarah? Oh, yes. I always like the colors. I love pretty food. Okay. Yep, this looks good. Okay, so I am now going to just put the lid on this. It is off. The family's rice is finished in the Instant Pot. However, I cannot have the rice um, with my blood sugar issues and the carrots are going to be plenty of carbs for me as it is so I am going to make up some cauliflower rice real quick and that is what I will use on my plate instead of the regular brown rice so I will get that done and we will come back and make up some plates and show you guys all right this is what I use for my rice it's just rice cauliflower. I do get these from Aldi. All I did was put it in a little skillet or a little pot, just straight out of the package, put a lid on it, and warmed it up. So my rice is warmed up now. Family's rice is good to go. You want to give Mama your plate? Okay. She gets a little bit of rice on there. And some veggies. Do you like broccoli? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like carrots? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like chicken? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not as enthusiastic about the chicken. Not as enthusiastic. Since you're not, he's hot, hot. Okay? Hot, hot. You go put it on the table. Let me put the... Mm-hmm. You need a spoon, too? I think Anna put a spoon for you on the table. Okay? Oh. Yes, hot. Okay, everybody else's, I am going to go ahead and when I make theirs up, I am going to put a little bit of these coconut aminos on top of it. They like that. It's an alternative to soy sauce. You can use soy sauce if that's what you choose to. So, I will put this on top. And otherwise, we are going to sit down, we are going to eat, and we are going to shut it down for the day. Had a long day. Had a busy day. And a productive day. So, this will be Abigail's plate right here. A little bit of that on there. And they will eat it right up. Mama, help me. Daddy's got you, baby. 
All right. There you go. We're going to sit down and eat. If you guys liked the video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And tell your family and friends to watch Ozark Family Homestead and help our family's channel grow. Please, please, please. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot.